What is going on? This is Red Sox Fan, and I'm finally back again with Let's Play Vanilla World of Warcraft. This is episode 20, and I'm here in the busy, bustling town of Goldshire and Elwyn Forest, where I last left off. Let's go ahead and get started. If we come over here, we can see this little, uh, little wooden post that shows basically uh, the paths to everywhere. So the East Vale Logging Camp is this way, and Red Ridge is this way, and that's exactly where we want to head out to. So let's go ahead and get started. As you can see, also here in Goldshire, there are some pumpkins, some some carved pumpkins there, some jack-o'-lanterns, if you will. A uh, corpse of Flykey. I'm sorry you died, bro. Uh, I wasn't there to help you out, but that's okay. So, if you guys can't remember what happened in the last episode, basically, I wasted a bunch of time. Uh, I walked from Stormwind, and I was on my way to Westfall when I stopped at the Westbrook Garrison and said, Hey, you know what? Let's go ahead and kill Hogger, uh, just for old times' sakes. Uh, old times' sake. And I did just that, and then I headed over to Westfall anyway, and I have three Dead Mines quests. Three of the... Uh, there should be another one, shouldn't there? Uh, three of five? Yeah. One of these I have... I don't think I got uh, Red Silk Bandanas. Did I pick that one up? No, I didn't pick that one up. So that was... Oh, did I? No, I didn't. So that was not bad. I'll have to do that later. But this episode, we are going to be... Oh, I cannot track this quest because it has no objectives. Okay, then. We are heading, as I mentioned about two minutes ago, we are out on the road heading over to the Red Ridge Mountains. If you guys don't know what that is, well, I will show you where that is. I just want to charge in here really quickly. Along the way, I'm going to be using my charge into different mobs. Critters mostly. If I can find a critter, I would I would much prefer to charge into a critter because they usually die in one hit and uh, don't harass me like other mobs. But the charge spell, as I've said numerous times before, I'll, I'll say it yet again. Uh, there's something over here I can discover, I think. There are probably some quests I can pick up over here, but I'm not down for those quests because they're way too under level for me. Uh, charge is sort of, I don't want to say the equivalent of like a mage's blink or aspect of the cheetah because it, it well, it actually has about the same cooldown as blink, um, but blink I think has a larger range, actually maybe no, maybe, I think blink is 20 to 25, so it's about the same as, as blink, as mage's blink, it's just a faster way for you to get around as a warrior, you just charge up, uh, basically charge up 25 yards and, and you're there quicker than normally. So in Red Ridge we are going to be turning in the quest the Defiers Brotherhood. This is part two of I think it's a six part uh, quest chain. So we first talked to I don't I don't know how you want to pronounce his name. Gryan? Grian? Gry? I'm just gonna say I'm just gonna say Gry. Uh, our friend Ooh traveling salesman Antonio Perelli. Let's go and talk to this dude is an Italiano. Alright what you got for sale here? Um, oh, that's not bad actually. Ironwood Mall, 11.8. That's actually more than the axe. A little slower, a little higher damage, but instead of any strength, it's just five. St I, I'm considering buying that right now. Oh, oh my! Whoa, 14.6. Oh, it's a gold though. That is so much money. That is so much money. But oh my God, this spiked. Heavy spike mace. I think I want this. Right? Wouldn't this be good? I mean, it's only 73. <gasps> Executioner's sword. Oh, let's take a look at this beaut this beauty. This isn't that pretty. But six strength. Six strength. I am really cons <laughs> seriously considering buying this right now. Should I just YOLO and buy it? I mean, 12.5 DPS, that's pretty good. But that six strength is really what's... Uh, I'm going to buy it. Okay, I'm going to buy it. Let's buy it. Yeah. I, I don't know uh, how good two-handed bases are. Uh, I think I can check out. Do they get... Oh, they get... Oh, a 5% chance to stun. That's pretty good with maces if I go into mess, mace spec. But I, I think generally it's a good idea not to spec into any of these uh, sword, mace, axe, or polearm until like you're already 60 and you get that specific weapon <clears throat> uh, for like PvP or whatever. Or PvE, I guess. So, let's go ahead and equip this heavy spike mace. Um, pretty good, damage-wise. Pretty good, but we're going to have to train it up a bit. So maybe I'll do that off-screen. I don't know if I want to do that. 
uh, on screen. Now, I might be mistaken here. Yeah, see, look at that. I miss on the critter already. Whew. But this is the East Vell Logging Co. I know I'm not mistaken there, but what I might be mistaken on is... Uh, oh, look, these little douchebags chasing a cat around. I think that... Oh, it's a chicken. All right, never mind. Yeah, you can kill the chicken. I don't care. Not the cat, but the chicken I'm okay with. Uh, no, I don't think so. There, you, there is... S probably they put it in in either Wrath of Lich King or Cataclysm. There is a Flight Master here in the East Vell Logging Camp. Maybe they even put that in in Mists of Pandaria. No, it, it would have had to be in Cataclysm. But not in vanilla. Yeah, no. So I just wanted to check that out, see if it was there or not. And uh, there's another tower over here. I just, I kind of want to just explore this whole place and get all the, get the map filled up. I'll do that later when I have a mount or off screen or whatever. So I'm getting a little sidetracked, but I'm making my way, way over to the Red Ridge Mountains to Lake Shire to turn in the quest of Defias Brotherhood, who we got from Gry, Stout Mantle, and last episode. This is part two. As I was mentioning before I ran into that traveling salesman, there are, I think, six six parts. We can actually check here, although I don't think it'll say, oh, this is part six. But this is a quest line. Part one is to... Actually, no, would this be part one in it of itself? I don't... This one, L. Oh, I'm like, which is the hotkey? Which is the hotkey? Okay, so I actually think this might be part one that we pick up. Go over to uh, talk to Wiley in Lakeshire, and then um, there is actually a flight master in Red Ridge Mountains in Lakeshire, just kind of in the outskirts of the town. Oh, Copper Vein, I, I do want to to mine you, but not not now. So when we talk to him, he'll give us a follow-up quest to go back and talk to uh, Gry, which you might be thinking, oh, I'm gonna have to run all the way back there. Well, no, because there's a flight master, and then conveniently there is a. F uh, also a flight master, a, a griffin master, whatever you want to call him, in Sentinel Hill, which we picked up, we, we did pick up, so that's nice, um, last episode as well, so we can just fly back there and I'll just cut away. Um, so here is another, Need help? as Neo Coaster mentioned, uh, it'd be a visual bug, I think from from a, a horde priest mind controlling it, but we, see, we, so we talked to him and it looks like he's neutral or even... Uh, hostile to us, but we can still pick up this quest. Encroaching Knolls, report to duty deputy, sorry, um, Thal Felden. Okay, I don't know where he is, but we will report to him. So Lakeshire and Stonewatch Keep are both this way. We don't really uh, care about Stonewatch Keep that much. That's over later. That's over here. But that's filled with, like, uh, orcs, isn't it? Like, uh, not Dragonkin. What are they called again? Um, well, there might be dragonkins in there, but I think th th there are orcs, but I can't remember what specifically what types of orcs. I don't know. Dragonkins. Yeah, the, the black dragonflight orcs. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's it. Okay, so we're making our way up over here. Uh, there are some, some little rabbits I can charge into you, and uh, it'd be actually pretty, pretty convenient to charge up here because I believe the flight master is just over this hill, so to speak. Yeah, he's just right over here. No, that's Deputy Felden. But next to him, there he is, or she, there she is, Ariana Stormfeather. Okay, let's get this going. Let's get this party started. <clears throat> All right, let's do <laughs> look at that. I miss. I'm missing on this rabbit. I don't think I can train up my skills on critters. That would be nice, though. Okay, encroaching knolls. Let's turn this in. Uh, I'm not gonna pick that up just yet. Can I help? What would you like to fly to? So from here, I can fly uh, to Stormwind or back to Sentinel Hill. I'll be back. For now, I have to go talk to Wiley, who is... Oh, hey, there's an Orc Hunter over there. Um, not killing one yet, but maybe in a bit. Maybe maybe she will kill someone. I don't know. Who knows? There's no mage coming in to help us, and it looks like she's oh mounting up. I thought she was hearthing away. Never mind. Where is our good friend Wiley? Eh, travel to Lakeshire and find what you can. Uh, there he is. He's inside the inn, I think. There are so many quests here. Oh my goodness, this would be a good place to quest after I'm done uh, in Westfall and done with uh, Dead Mines. Maybe I'll come here. Yeah, I think I think Lakeshire is a pretty pretty good place. <clears throat> Got two condor meat, one gold. Nope. Sorry, bro. I don't have any meat of any kind whatsoever. 
or else I would sure love that one gold. All right, what do we what do we got here? That was a trap, <laughs> potentially set by uh, by that hunter, that orc hunter. Luckily, we didn't set it off, or else we would have died probably. Oh, spooky skeleton! Oh no! Oh, three spooky, five me. Oh, this is <laughs> the the great Skeletor has has visited our uh, our video. If you don't comment. Uh, what is it? Think, think, Mr. Skelet Skeletal. Uh, <laughs> what is it? I'm forgetting the meme. Uh, you will be cursed with low cal low calcium and brittle bones. <laughs> so I can't remember exactly, but God, that's funny. Okay, so this is Wiley the Black. Although he is white, that's a misleading name. Maybe because he's dressed in all black. I don't know. So Stout Mantle sent you. Well, I owe him. Do you want to maybe elaborate a little bit more on that? What I am about to tell you could cost me my life. Oop. The Defias gang is up to something big. Last I heard, they were working in conjunction with various gnolls, kobolds, and even goblins. Take this note to Stout Mantle. It explains as much as I know on the subject. All right, thanks, bro. So that's basically the quest. We come all the way here just for him to uh, betray his... It seems as though he was at one point part of the Defias Brotherhood. Not anymore. Can I browse your goods? What do you got here? can buy a hearthstone that's weird i thought i had one yeah oh weird uh, i can get a love token i don't know why perfume bottle give yourself an alluring scent give yourself a pleasant scent i would rather have the alluring scent thank you very much but ba bam perfume i smell divine all right so let's head on back to the flight master and we will <clears throat> god there's a lot of corpses here and i'll fly back Oh, see, look, Guard Clark, right there. Uh, I can I can actually attack that guard. That's strange. So many quests here. This is quite a big quest hub. All right, so uh, now we're going to fly back to Gyron. I wonder if she's going to attack me. No. But I could definitely attack her if I wanted to charge into her. I could. That would be a mistake. I, I'm actually curious what would happen if I charge into her around other guards. Like, since she's a guard, would the guards attack me? Or would they attack her because I'm a, you know, I'm a citizen and they're protecting me? I don't know. That's a... That would be a, a good experiment to try later on, to conduct when I'm not trying to complete a quest chain. Alright, so I'm going to fly back and I'm going to cut away now. You don't have to watch me fly all the way back to Sentinel Hill. And I'll meet you guys back uh, with a guy, Gry... Gryan, Gry, Stout Mantle. So be right back. All right, everybody, we are back here in Sentinel Hill. So let's go ahead and talk to Gyran. And if you actually, when you accept the quest, the follow-up quest from Wiley the Black, he actually gives you Wiley's note, which the flavor text reads: a hastily written note, <laughs> written by Wiley the Black for Gryan, Stout Mantle. And we can read it if we want to. I don't know if I really want to. Uh, I guess I'll read it really quick if you guys are interested in what it says. Stout Mantle. Some nerve sending a total stranger to discuss the Defias gang. Once you saved my life and now you put it in great peril, but I owe you. The Defias Brotherhood is larger than you think. Every mine from Westfall to Elwyn Forest is under their control. Kobolds and gnolls have been enlisted to do their dirty work. They have goblins crafting metal monsters to place in the Westfall fields to prey on the superstitions of the local residents. They have a vast underground network built, bigger than you know, Stout Mantle, from Booty Bay right to Stormwind Keep. You may be brave. You may be a brave paladin, but you are a fool if you think you can shut them down. They are working on a weapon of mass destruction. After all, if there's one thing stonemasons know, it's how to build big. You didn't think this was about pumpkin farms and vi uh, vineyards, now did you? Or vineyards, if you want that. Uh, I prepared your fa <coughs> I repaid your favor. Now leave me be. Signed W. Ooh, mysterious. All right. So the follow-up, the Defias Brotherhood. Good to see you back, Ty Lord. What did Wiley have to say for himself? He reads through it. Bah! I should have let I should have let that scoundrel rot when I had the chance. But this information is crucial. Good work. I wonder what Wiley meant when he mentioned the stonemasons. Perhaps that was a slip of the tongue. Could the Defias gang be related to the stonemasons? Only one man would know for sure. Matthias Shaw, head of SI7. Show him Wiley's note and see if he has anything to add to this growing mystery. If you have trouble finding Shaw, check the barracks in Old Town. Alright, we will do just that. Gryan Stout Mantle, I will not let you down. So now we're going <clears> to <throat> come back here to the Griffin Master, the Flight Master. The, f the FP, I think is what they also call it, the Flight Path. And we're going to fly back. Thor! It's Thor, the mighty god of 
uh, Norse mythology. Is it Norse? I can't really remember. So, now I'm going to fly back to Stormwind. Uh, I think Matthias Shaw is located, as he mentioned, let's check out Stormwind, in Old Town, eh, somewhere in there. So we'll, we'll find him. But I'm going to cut away again. That was a lot of reading done in about t two or three minutes. I don't know. I kind of need some water now. So I will cut away, and I'll meet you guys back in Stormwind. Whoa, 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 guys. Check it out. It's the Sewer Beast. Oh, my God. I was right. It does exist. And he has spawned. Somebody almost just killed it. I don't know if you saw at the very very start. Oh, oh my god! He's coming for me! <laughs> Holy shit! I am actually scared right I am scared a little bit. Oh my god. How how frightening. This is my, my biggest fear, is falling in this water. Let's just stand on the edge. Surely if we do, we will fall in and die. Oh, oh my god. It does exist. I am not crazy! No, I'm just kidding. As, as someone mentioned in the comments, I believe Neo Coaster in one of my videos, uh, mentioning uh, it's it's like level 50 and it's super rare. So, God, look at that giant croc. Scary. Very spoopy. As uh, as I was saying, I don't know if I started recording it in the attempts to catch it dying because somebody was attacking it and got him down to about 9% health before they uh, perished to the old sewer beast and... And then it regenerated health like crazy. So here we are in Old Town. Uh, we got a bunch of 60s here, although that dude was 14, so not a great example. But the barracks, I believe, are just over here. There's a rogue trainer. We can't enter into the whatever that place is called. Hall of Arms. Coat of Arms. This is the command center. I don't think it's there. I think it's in here. All right. Yeah, I can't enter in there un unless I'm private. Uh, I reached the rank of private, which means I have to get like at least one honorable kill, maybe or ten, or I don't know. I don't know specifically what the uh, the cutoff is. So where is Master Matthias Shaw? Is he up here? I think he's like all the way up top. Maybe he's over here. Here he is. Yeah. Okay. Uh, next to. Hey, look at that! A goblin. See, I thought thought goblins were not. Alliance affiliated. I don't know. That's What's strange. Do Very strange. Master Matthias Shaw, let's go ahead and talk to you. You're not even... Oh, wait, you're 62. Never mind. I'm like, you're not even 70, bro? You need some more training, but 60 was the, the highest level in vanilla. I Sometimes I forget that little fact. The Defias Brotherhood. Hey, get out of here, knighted. It's, this is my quest. JK. What business do you have with me? I'm a very busy man. Here, take this. Wiley's note. This matter might be more complex than Stoutmantle realizes. The Stonemasons Guild was run by a man named Edwin Van Cleef. Hint, hint, that's the end boss of the dungeon. Van Cleef was responsible for rebuilding Stormwind after the orcs raised it in the First War. Apparently, Van Cleef and his men were unhappy with their treatment by the king after the reconstruction was complete. That just might explain a thing or two. I've written a more detailed account for your master in Westfall. Take this to him at once. Thanks, bro, but he's not really my master. He's just a dude who's going to give me some gear for killing that dude. Uh, Van Cleef is that dude, and the other that dude, the first that dude is, well, is Gyron Stoutmantle, of course, or, or Gryan. I don't know how you pronounce his name. God, it's frustrating. Right, I'm going to cut away again. I'm going to run back to the flight master, fly back to Westfall. Aren't we having a fun time? Isn't vanilla quest chains the best? We're just running all over the place, turning in meaningless quests that's more about the plot and lore of the dungeon, but I love lore, so I like quest chains like this. Be right back. Hopefully I don't die to this sewer beast, but y you never know. S I, I might just run right in the water here. Oh, here I go. Here I go. Wowie, look at me. I'm floating. All right, not anymore. So let's go ahead and talk to Gyron, Gry, and Gr Gry. <laughs> How do you pronounce your name? I don't know. Maybe it's, maybe it's like, okay, so Bear with me here. The way you spell Aryan, like the Aryan Brotherhood, is A R Y A N, right? Rian. So maybe it's Grian. Like Aryan Garian. I don't know. What can I do Let's just talk to this dude, Stout Mantle. Let's just call him Stout, Stout Mantle. That's a very easy name to say. Did Master Shaw shed any light on things? He he sure did. Uh, Shaw's report. We can actually read that too if we want to. How long is this thing? Oh, three pages. All right, let's do it. 
Lord Stoutmantle, led by Edwin Van Cleef, the Stonemasons' Guild was composed of the most skilled builders among men. The Stonemasons helped to rebuild a broken city of Stormwind that was raised by the orcs during the First War. Van Cleef and his tradesmen were peerless builders, and their work and artistry was evident in the edifices of the Cathedral of Light and Stormwind Keep itself. However, the nobles of Stormwind ran up a huge debt by expanding the kingdom's military presence through Elwyn and into the Stranglethorn. The massive debt crippled the kingdom's economy and stripped Van Cleef and his stonemasons of their promised rewards. After spending years toiling to rebuild the glorious city, the stonemasons were left broken, forgotten by the city's corrupt officials. Now that's pretty sad. Uh, having personally known Edwin Van Cleef my entire life, I can tell you that facing him as a foe is quite a daunting task. You see, he was my childhood friend, and I personally trained him in the ways of the shadows, thinking that one day he might consider a career alongside me. If Van Cleef is heading up the Device Brotherhood, may the lights have mercy on our souls. Master Matthias Shaw, Stormwind Assassin's Guild. So that's great. So basically the head of the Stormwind's Assassin Guild tra personally trained Edwin Van Cleef just if he j if we wanted to join him in a career of a uh, of assassinry and, and roguery but it turns out that now he's a bad guy because he has such a such a what's the word uh vi not vengeance but when you keep things bottled up and you, you want i forget what the word is um grudge against stormwind and its king and its officials i mean come on varian you got to treat your builders better than that the, the, the working class, the working people. Kind of like... Uh, I don't know. What's that Russian's dude name? God, I'm forgetting everyone's name. Edwin Van Cleef, I know the name well. To think that man is so industrious and talented could turn into such a scoundrel unnerves me. I'll need further proof before I believe this. We need to discover the location of the Defias hideout. Tylord, my scout reports that a Defias that a Defias messenger has been seen on the roads between Moonbrook, the Gold Coast Quarry, and the Jangolod mind. mind. That's that's the funniest word I've I've heard today. I want you to capture him. If he resists, kill him and bring me whatever he is carrying. All right. If he resists, I will kill for you, Stout Mantle. I will kill for you. That's how much I am devoted to you. Alrighty. So, uh, let's run down. See where uh. See where that dude's at. I think I'm going to cut away first and then try and find him just because this, this episode might be uh, turning out to be quite a bit long. And I don't want to cut it into two parts. So I'm going to save as much time as I can now. <clears throat> I'm going to cut away. Uh, Moonbrook is down here. I'm going to run to Moonbrook. Try and find him. I know he spawns. I read on the wiki page he spawns in the blacksmith's uh, little hut or the, the blacksmithing building. And then he walks to... I don't know where the jingle load mine is. Maybe it's down here. So I'll, I'll try and look for him. And uh, I'll let you guys know where I find him. Alrighty, guys. So I'm back in Moonbrook. And it just turns out... Um, the first time I actually ran back here and got here, um, somebody had already looted him and tagged him. And so I uh, basically just asked... Asked anyone here for the messenger, invite me. And... Uh, I, sorry about that. I got invited into this group with uh, three other people and uh, looted the mysterious message. So now I'm going to make my way back to uh, Sentinel Hill. I'm going to cut away and I'll see you guys back over there. Alrighty guys, so we are here back in Sentinel Hill. Let's go ahead and talk to Stout Mantle one last time. We actually can read this mysterious message. Let's see. Black Nails, the sea awaits us. We need your supplies from the north. Strip everything. Everything. Every railroad pike, every water bucket. We need metal. The shipment is due from BB uh, Booty Bay, but long overdue. Come through for me. Black Nails, send your supplies directly to the quote-unquote barn this time. No need, no time to squander. Van Cleef. Signed, Van Cleef. <clears throat> One second. All right, so let's go ahead and turn this quest in. What do you got to say to me, Stout Mantle? Tylord, were you able to gather any information? Did you locate the messenger? I did, and I killed him, just like you said, and I got his message. This is indeed firm proof that Van Cleef is in charge. Now all we need to know is where the Defias gang is hiding out. We've had a stroke of luck while you were gone. We captured a thief trying to steal Saldean's wagon. He has promised to lead us to the hideout in exchange for his life. I want you to defend the traitor so we can reveal the hideout. Return to me once you have uncovered the location. Alright, so uh, now the... I'm pretty sure the Defias traitor spawns, right? 
The Defire Defias Mist Brotherhood news is spawn yes, yeah, spawns. Um Defias Trapper, that's not it. Normally the Defias Trader would uh <laughs> spawn, right? Maybe maybe uh someone's already doing it right now, and that's why I can't I can't do that quest. Uh, is there someone in here? There might. I, I'm looking for a specific scout, uh, and I'm not sure where he is. Scout real. Hey, there's a quartermaster here. A swift message. Eh, get out of here. Looking for something. You want to browse your goods? You got nothing for me. That's not the same quartermaster in the sense of cataclysm or even the burning crusade. Because in the in the burning crusade, as a blood elf, once you um, get like exalted with tranquillin. You can get some pretty neat stuff. Oh, here's Scout Reel. Oh, we can't even... That is odd That is odd because Red Silk Banana says it starts at Scout Reel. And I'm level 17. Attain at 12. I'm level 18, so I should be able to get it, right? Well, apparently not, according to <laughs> Scout Reel herself. Darn. So let's just drop down here. Now, normally, I think when that when that quest spawns, there should be a Defias Trader here. Um... Give me a second to check this out, investigate, and see what's going on. Alrighty, guys, so we have started the quest, the Defias Brotherhood. He spawned right quick. Oh, Odwin. Yeah, okay, you got it. Alright, so let's do this. Follow me, Tylord. I'll take the Defias hideout, but you better protect me or I'm as good as dead. So he's, he's kind of fast, but we're faster. So, yeah, let's just take this nice and at a steady pace. Make sure he doesn't die. I don't know if you can heal him. That would be nice, but we just have to kill the mobs faster than they kill the Defias Trader. So we're just going to run over to Moonbrook. Um, I think just for the sake of time, I'm going to cut out all this running, and um, I'll start... I'll, I'll, I'll see you guys back over in Moonbrook when we get there, so be right back. Alright, so we are here in Moonbrook, and I just don't want <clears throat> any Harvest Golems and such to, you know, take down my poor Defias Trader. So let's go ahead and um, pop the Battle Shout. I thought I did already. Um, so we just have to make sure that that no mobs can get to him. Obviously we're going to be running... It. Oh god, he slowed, it, slowed down considerably once we got to Moonbrook. Um, we're going to be running through here. The entrance is hidden here in Moonbrook. Keep your eyes peeled for thieves. They want me dead. Alright, you got it, dude. Um, I'll stay back here and protect protect our good Defias Pillager. Oh, the Defias Looter wants some action, huh? Huh? Uh, there's a Pillager over here. We might want to keep our eye peeled on this Pillager as well. Okay, there's a Looter right there. Okay, so the Defias Trader is going to run back over here. What's he doing? Oh yeah, he. I, I forgot about this quest, this part. He kind of runs around and he's like, where is that pesky hideout? Wait, what? What is he doing? Well, that's strange. Why did he do that? All right, well, we uh, basically saved that rogue from from impending doom. <laughs> You're welcome, dude. And uh, now he's gonna he's gonna come back over here. Now, what what's might happen peri periodically is um, the video is like the the lag is kind of gonna catch up and get a little laggy. So we're just gonna have to watch out for that. So uh, this dude's pretty fast when he's when he's worried about um, freaking mobs that are in the vicinity being attacked. Um, see, look, he's running all the way back to kill his pillager. Why is he doing this? I don't know. And now he's gonna he's gonna come back here to his normal path. This is why it takes so long uh, because you know he's just uh, he has to get back into his normal path. And if there are any mobs in the area, he chases after them like a like a run a runaway Mack truck or something. I don't know. Some sort of analogy uh, for him running around like a like a chicken with his head cut off, you know? Alright, so I'm going to cut away again, and I'll, um... When we get closer to the quest objective, I will show you guys where he's going to take us. Alright, so this could be it. Um, we are heading ever closer into the quote-unquote barn in Moonbrook. Uh, this dude, this this quest is crazy. This dude is just running around uh, going willy-nilly, killing all these mobs. I don't know where the hell we're supposed to be going. Um, let's take him in here, because I think this is where we need to go. So let's just go inside the dead mines. I don't know. Maybe we have to, we have to like, lure him in inside here. Because he's just, he's just running around like a fucking psychopath. And it's kind of frustrating. Um, 
So now that this pillager is attacking, so we don't want that to happen, do we? No, we don't. So let's kill these guys as much as we can. Okay, so I think we're good. Um, I think he's gonna he's gonna finally walk over into the barn here. And uh, I see I tried to lure him in here with some mobs, but I think he has to be out of combat to do what he needs to do. Um, so yeah, let's just come over here. He, it might be just like right outside here. He'll be like, "This is it. Bye." <laughs> we'll see. All right, are we walking in? Oh no, there it is, right there. You can tell Stout Mantle this is where the Defy Gangs hold up, Tylord. All right, great. And he disappears, and that's it. What a fucking dick. Alright, so uh, I'm going to loot some, some of these dudes. We literally killed this entire place. Like, we probably killed uh, 10 or 12 of these Defias dudes. And luckily for me and Odwin here, this guy I grouped up with, um, we're both 18, and these guys are all like 13, 14, 15, so we're a bit overleveled so that's that's good it's always good to be overleveled for for quests like this so i'm gonna run back now to uh to sentinel hill turn this quest in and that'll probably be the end of the video so be right back Alrighty, so we are here back with stout mantle here let's go ahead and turn this uh dang old device brotherhood quest in uh what business do you have with me i'm a very busy man bro i've just been running back and forth all over this damn country for you most excellent tie lord van cleef is as good as ours now that we know where he's hiding so this is the final Defias Brotherhood quest. There is but one task left for you to complete. Edwin Van Cleef must be assassinated. While it saddens me to con condemn any man to death to a death sentence, it is for the greater good of the people of Westfall that Van Cleef is laid to rest once and for all. The greater good. Bring me the greater good. The villain's head. The greater good. Once the deed is done. All right. So if you guys didn't don't know that reference, it's to Hot Fuzz, one of my all-time favorite movies. Starring, I forget Simon Pegg and Nick Frost and the dude, the dude who was James Bond for a for a film or two. All right, so let's just go ahead and set this quest. And uh, as you can see, this episode is starting to end very laggily, but that's okay. Um, so that's it for this episode. I did. Oh my God, I did that entire quest chain minus the final one where we have to actually kill Van Cleef. Uh, but it does lead to some. Get out of here! I don't want to duel you. It does lead to some pretty good quest rewards. Let's see here. Uh, these mail chains. Uh, chain mail. Mail leggings. No chain mail. It, it is chain mail, but there's no chain in, in the words. So, uh, plus, look at this. Plus 11 strength and plus 5 stam. Holy lord, that's such an upgrade. Alright, so that's it for this episode, guys. Thank you for watching. Hopefully, this hasn't been split up into two separate episodes because... I, they're just fighting around me. Okay, cool. I really hate when that when that happens, but sometimes my computer can't handle uh, those long, long episodes. So, oh my god, totally whooped them. So until next episode, I hope you enjoy this one, or these two, I don't know. And as always, this has been Red Sox Fan. Thank you for watching. Stay classy, and peace out.